Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here, talking to you guys over a little bit of a mod spotlight, as you guys can see, we're in the mod spotlight world, and today, we're going to be talking about quite an interesting mod, we're going to be talking about the Schematica mod by Lunartrius, do, 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 do something along those lines, hopefully you guys do kind of enjoy this mod spotlight, if you guys do, remember the like rating down below, as well as subscribe, join the nation if you already haven't, I'd like to mention two quick things, one, this is a Forge Mod Loader compatible mod, so you will need Forge Mod Loader to install it, if you want to click the link, Link in the description to a video tutorial showing you guys how to do so you guys can do that also you guys can uh, remember rate the video if you want to support this channel support this video support this mod all that great stuff so then I've kind of mentioned that let's get started so what, what schematica is actually going to do is it's going to give you the unique ability to have a in-game three-dimensional schematic and uh, this can be useful for a plethora of reasons so Say for some reason I, I needed to move this house. I wanted to be like, you know what, I want to move this house, but I don't want to cheat, I don't want to use MC Edit, I don't want to use World Edit, I don't want to use any of that. What I could actually have the ability to do is I go up here, I'm going to use my hotkeys, which are by default are the subtract key, the multiply key, and the divide key. So if I use this, you know, little uh, multiply key here, I can enable it. I'm going to select this as one point. And I'm actually going to change that so that it'll be a little bit over here. So right here where I'm standing. So that's going to be my first point. Then I'm going to go all the way over here because I want to copy all of this. And I'm going to do then choose my next point. My next point, I'm going to do the same multiply key. I'm going to pick, pick blue point. And then if even if you don't have flying, you can still do this. You're going to use the Y. You're going to make it, you know, select this entire area in here. So as you guys can see, I did select this entire area. And then I'm going to hit the multiply key again. I'm going to go save this as test. Oh, not tets. Test. And we're going to go save. From there, I can, you know, go wherever I want to go. Say I wanted to go place it so it was... Da, 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 da. Let's go over it in the desert a little bit, and let's find a good place for it. So say I wanted to place it so that it was right next to this edge here. What I can actually do is I can hit uh, slash, and then you're going to see this test. I'm going to go test, done, and then boom. It's going to open up, and as you guys can see, it is uh, in there, which, you know, is showing some red areas and all that stuff. It's going to show you that it, it basically won't fit, that there's there's something wrong with this placement. So what you can actually do is you guys can use uh, your... Oh, you guys can uh, use your uh, manipulate tool, which is going to be the subtract, and you guys can actually uh, change its position. So I can actually make it floating in the air if I wanted to. I can make it move this way, this, this way. Let's, so let's move it this way. Then we're going to rotate. Okay, we're going to rotate again and again. And then I want it to go down like that. And then I want to move it over. And as you guys can see, I will need to place another sand layer uh, behind it simply because... Uh, or underneath it, I should say, simply because this needs to be on top of something. Or I can, you know, go back here, and I can go like that, and I can I can dig it all out and stuff like that. Now, for applications like this, uh, you know, they're going to be few and far between. There's not going to be a lot of points in time when you're going to need to do something like that. And with that in mind, I'm just going to go and disable this. But... Um, th there is applications for things like redstone. There is huge applications for certain things like that. And just to prove the point, I decided to go take something from my redstone world. This is something from my Machinima Realm series, Minecraft Contraptions. And, uh, I actually took a... Oh, what am I... There we go. Uh, I actually took a a little schematic of a secret door that I have. So I'm actually going to take that and I'm going to load it in. And as you guys can see, this is the secret door schematic. Now what I can do with this is I'm going to, you know, obviously move it. Uh, let's get it right on top of the ground. Let's rotate it. And let's move it this way. So I'm going to move it this way. I'm going to move it up one. I can move it, you know, over a little bit. And keep on moving it until I find a good placement for it. And there, that should be good. So I'm going to leave it like that. And now what I can actually do is this will give me the ability to completely copy this redstone. If there's, say, an item that you're watching somebody's redstone tutorial on and you need to recreate that, say it's a, something really difficult, but like a 4x4 door or a 3x3 door, you can get this, you can download the map, go into that world, save the schematic, and then go into your normal survival world and recreate it this is really cool i really do like this application of it you can also do things like say you liked somebody else's house that they made and you want to completely recreate that you guys can use this these are all ghost blocks by the way i don't think i actually went over that so what you could actually do is uh say i wanted a sandstone block 
So I have the sandstone block and what I want to do is I want to recreate this. I can do stuff like this and what it'll actually do is it'll, you know, go away when I finally fill in the block. And you can do that for everything and then eventually you're going to have a full shape and, uh, you know, you're going to be done. So anyway, guys, hopefully you did kind of enjoy this little mod spotlight. If you guys do like this mod, remember to go download it in the link in the description to the Minecraft forum page. But anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Remember to rate the video if you already didn't. Remember to subscribe to the nation. Subscri subscribe to the nation down below. I, I really screwed that one up. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. I'm the doctor, and I'm out. Peace.